I really admire people that stick to that stick to their ideals and believe in themselves no matter what. And there, of course, are a lot of people that we can think of that are like that. But I always think back to there was a scientist named Barbara McClintock, who <laughs> nobody has probably heard of. And in the 50s and 60s, she was a geneticist and she was working on corn and she discovered that genes could jump around on chromosomes. And she went and talked about this. Of course, it was mainly men in her area at that time, in her industry at that time. And she went to talk to about it at conferences, and men would say, "You're crazy," and they'd laugh at her, and you know, <laughs> you know, they didn't believe her data. But she just kept at it, and she kept, you know, proving, coming up with more results, and proving that what she said was correct. And it was, it was. It flew in the face of dogma. Nobody, you know, it was hard to believe. It was like saying the world was round instead of flat at that time. But she kept at it, and she finally won a Nobel Prize in 1983 for her work. So, <laughs> so she persevered, and she believed in herself, and she kept going. So she's a big hero to me. And uh, of course, there are a lot of heroes now today. But um, and I also nowadays, um, I think a more modern example would be uh, Sheryl Sandberg, who I think she. It, it was great that she wrote her book, and she goes out and talks to people and and young women especially, and lets them know that um, that you can achieve what you want to achieve. And it was interesting reading her book Lean In for me because I made every single mistake she mentioned, every one of them, you know? I wouldn't raise my hand. Uh, execs would ask me to come up to the table at meetings, and I'd say, no, 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 sit back here in the corner, you know? Uh, didn't speak up. I didn't. Um, I didn't promote myself the way I should have. Um, I didn't recognize my own accomplishments. I didn't have the self confidence that I needed. But you know, you gain that through your through your life. But if you have a mentor that shows you that, like Cheryl is being to so many young women now, I think they can fast track getting to where to the success that they need to be in.